Hello, Collegian readers. Uh, Post game show, and the Jackrabbits are on the wrong end of a 38 28 defeat to a ranked Indiana State team. Uh, guys, your thoughts on a pretty disheartening loss for the Jackrabbits at home. And, and you look at the foul score, not entirely indicative of what transpired. It was 38 15 late. Uh, Indiana State kind of let up a little bit. You saw some guys on the sideline that were a part of gaining that you know three score lead. Um, SSU got a few touchdowns late. It should, it, it, the problem I right now, I think the problem is a little bit of everything. The Jacks can't run the ball very well. Cool uh, and Zenner have been relatively quiet since opening week. Um, they're asking Sumner probably to do too much. Yeah, uh, throwing 35 passes a game. Uh, I think that's just too much for a freshman kid like that. And the defense uh, just doesn't get stops when they really need them. They only got that one turnover, but at the end of the day, 38 points, 38 points. And some of that is driven by the fact that they're down. But Sumner threw the ball quite a bit in the first half. Yeah. And the Jacks were definitely in that game. Yeah. Shane, I mean, what kind of stands out to you as, as sort of the biggest problem? You drew and mentioned that there's many, but is there one you can pinpoint it on? Uh, the biggest thing to me tonight was tackling. Uh, it, it seemed like a challenge uh, for the Jacks, especially in that second half, to bring down uh, Shakir Bell, the very talented back uh, for the Sycamores. And I mean, what more can you say about him? 199 yards, two touchdowns, and uh, he just had a great night. And, and uh, SDSU bottomed him up in the first quarter. They bottomed yeah. him up pretty well. Uh, held him, I think he had negative rushing yards. Negative six first yards in yeah. the first quarter. And uh, he really just, he, he looked like a totally different back when he came out. And that's coming on, he had a shin injury too yeah. uh, there. And uh, I mean, what more can you say about him? That is a man at running back. No <laughs> doubt about that. He mentioned it, yes. He had 120 <laughs> odd yards in the third quarter. And that is where the game changed, yep. without a doubt. You have, he yeah. had a 30 yard touchdown run. Bullies the Jackrabbits all the way down the field, and then you have the 78-yard interception return. That kind of was yeah. the uh, proverbial day. I mean, yeah, another pick six. I mean, the fifth one of the year. It's, it's an epidemic, it's, regardless really of who epidemic. the quarterback is right it, now. It really is. You know, it, Jacks aren't a very good football team right now. And, and there's not, not really a and there's no hiding it because the Jackrabbits are playing good teams week yeah. in and week out. They'll play another one next week in Youngstown State. Your thoughts, Shane, as we kind of look forward. Do the Jacks have any hope of turning this around? You know, when you play good teams, your your flaws are, are exposed. Um, when you when you play really good teams, and that's what happens. And you know, hopefully the hopefully the Jacks can uh, uh, put up some kind of a fight. Uh, they did tonight. They put up a decent fight tonight. But I think uh, I think the final score was uh, a little closer than what the game actually was on the field. I th yeah, I think they're just going to struggle. I think this has been such a tumultuous month for them uh, with O'Brien out of nowhere. Um, the, the points they play just getting handed convincing losses. This is their fourth straight pretty convincing loss. I know Illinois State was kind of a close game, but again, they made a lot of mistakes in that game too. And and, he, and, and, and a tragic thing like Kyle Harris tonight too. I mean that that wears on a team. A captain like that going down in such a freak way, just going on a kickoff. That's I mean that, that's not something that people are going to talk about. Well, this is this is affecting them, but I mean you can see it. I mean you can see it in Sumner's eyes and Stigmeyer's eyes, and all that affects them. And we'll see uh, if that continues for the rest of the season. Very, very interesting. This is a, maybe as interesting one and four football team as you can have, yeah. um, but they are not very good right now. And I think they've got a lot of issues that they're going to have to solve. We're glad you could join us all night long. It's a 38-28 beef ball loss for the Jackrabbits here at Coffin Long Night Stadium to open October. And uh, glad you could join us. Drew, Marcus, Shane, take care. Thanks, guys.